After a tough few days down south, we headed north in search of an easier place to walk. We passed through a bunch of beautiful scenery on our way to Arkansas! Woo! That's a heavy bot. I just matched him. My name's Ben, and I'm on a quest to find a shed in every state in the U.S. I don't even know if this is possible, and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. Good morning from Arkansas. We stayed here at this beautiful Best Western last night after driving about five hours. Uh, funny fact, all right, fun fact for you guys. Sometimes you accidentally change the settings on your Google uh, maps and it makes it so you uh, avoid highways and that's what I did on mine I'm not knowing why and I had to go through every small town I'm like why is this taking us so long to drive 100 miles check your settings on your Google Maps but today we were meeting up with a buddy Austin uh, I've known him through social media for a little bit chatted with him and he filled out my Google form uh, said that he had some stuff in Arkansas we go check out uh, I think we're gonna be on a WMA we're gonna go hike for some antlers today crazy last night driving in and seeing some of the tornado damage that just happened here recently in Little Rock pretty crazy we're gonna show you a little bit of that this morning uh, and then we're also gonna go see if we can find us a whitetail shed once we get one um, hopefully we get one and then we'll be on the road. We're actually headed north as soon as we get done, probably to Wisconsin, which is about 11 hours away. So lots of road trip, lots of miles on Burnt Sienna. And then I'm actually gonna fly home from Wisconsin and go see the family for a little while, then fly back out, continue the road trip. But we're out here doing it for you guys and for me because this is like the coolest adventure ever. United States of America, Arkansas, let's go. Ooh, Sienna looking fine today. Looking good. Oh yeah. So we got Austin today. We got Les. Let's go. We're headed into this mix of pines and briars. My hands are wrecked, but I brought some gloves. So let's go see if we can find one. Man, we got one. <laughs> I almost stepped on this thing. Arkansas, we're checking her off today, buddy, and early. I can't believe I saw that thing. Dude. Little tiny guy, but early. <laughs> Shoot in half almost like oh <laughs> that counts we are gonna get it done today i can't believe that man nice job awesome <laughs> half hour into the hike. i know we just barely started that's perfect because now it's no pressure no pressure now we're just shed hunting for fun the rest of the day yes just Thank sitting you. right at the base of that tree dude awesome what a giant you ever seen one that big before <laughs> what she said so perfect just because like I know it's funny I've talked about this in some other videos but the pressure here is like getting the state checked off once that pressure's off your shoulder you just get a hike for fun get to enjoy the area and see it we got her checked off baby that's state number 10 so we are rolling through this shed tour Arkansas baby we got it oh yeah <laughs> I thought it was a stick that's a big yeah. antler oh yeah eating up it really I mean, I'd count it. I'll count it. Yeah. Yeah. Some base you on can it. imagine. Dude, he probably had nine points on that side. Yeah. <laughs> right in front of me, and I never even clicked to me that that was an antler. <laughs> like, number two. That's two for the day. There's a couple mosquitoes. All right, we got back to the van and really just a couple hour loop, but it was perfect for what we needed. Got a shed in Arkansas, got it checked off the list. That's state number 10. So we're cruising, we're doing really good. Austin found one as well shoot up one so that's good enough we decided as soon as we got done we would get back on the road for wisconsin possibly hit illinois in the middle on the way up so we're gonna get to cruising as soon as les gets back and uh yeah that's it for arkansas count it um since this one was a pretty short segment we'll probably throw it in with another video so there'll probably be some more shed hunting action coming at you right now so we're in illinois we're driving down the freeway and uh, we looked at these rest areas and they both back up to corn, have huge fields next to them. 
Uh, they have woods on them. So we can't not try while we're here. We got like an hour before dark. We're gonna just run these little teeny sw swatches of public and then get back on the road. We might get lucky, who knows. What's a dead water moccasin? Copper man, copper head. Oops. Folks, good morning from Wisconsin. Dairy country. I don't know, that's the stereotype, but I haven't seen a single cow yet. And we've been in Wisconsin since about 10 p.m. last night. Anyway, we are at a really, really cool place. As you can see, there are desired items to be found here. Lots of desired items to be found. So we made it back to less of stomping grounds after a very minimal amount of driving. <laughs> like, I wish you guys, I'm sure you'll get the feel for it, but how much we've driven in the last few days, in the last, like, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Illinois, Wisconsin now. I was gonna go home, but I decided to just fly home. Anyway, it's the longest story ever, but the reason we're here is because the snow melt has been accelerated on this property due to some warm temperatures, and it's now the time to go out and shed hunt this awesome little farm that belongs to Travis and his family, and they said that we could come do it, see if we can knock out Wisconsin today, so. It's enough talking. Bed rolls on the floor where I slept because they let me have the king suite. All the stuff ready. My kind of box on the wall over there. Yeah, big banana. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Look at this place. Always ready. This is my kind of walking, man. I haven't seen that much open ground in two weeks. <laughs> well, you aren't going to see much more of it after this spot. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to go frolic around at least for a little bit, though. And you guys probably noticed, too, along the back of the field, there's that place where um, the ground goes up. That's a hill. We haven't seen those in a while either. So I'm feeling a little tired, but I'm excited. Let's go get it. Little update. As you can see, I'm well glistened. Um, it's hot, and these hills are steep. Sweat it up. But uh, Travis just found one down here. Like an old one. Yep. Old chalker. Well, here he is. Little guy. Oh, mark it. Oh, it's just a rock. Don't get too excited. All right, well, Wes just texted me and said he found a nice, fresh four-point side on the spine on the way down. So I'm going to walk down to him. Yeah, there's many, spine, many spines to choose from. Yeah. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Beautiful. That's a sweet looking antler. There's something just so much nicer about this brown look than all those white ones I found in Texas, you know? Yeah. Chocolatey. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty. You got a hole in the bottom. Sweet. No country. Okay. Point right there all the time because that feels not far. After a slow morning looking for sheds, we decided to head down and check out the cranberry bogs where Travis and his family grow cranberries. So these are cranberry bogs. This is just a retention reservoir right here behind us. It's got some fish and stuff in there, but they just kind of hold water. And this here is an actual bog. Those are actual baby cranberries. Rotten. These are from last year. Last year cranberries. Give it a whirl. How are they? Yeah. Taste bad? They're pretty rank usually. Oh, it's <laughs> a rotten fruit. A couple swans out there. Come try and get me. What are you going to do? We also took a minute to go in the shop and check out some of the bucks that Travis and his dad have killed over the years. Thing of beauty. Oh my gosh. He that? shot this one up there in that field. What? Right out of that cornfield that's more off. <laughs> Jeez. I'm telling you, they're here. Oh, I believe you. I oh, uh, that. Yeah, so either. Oh. Check that out. That'd be able to. Oh, uh, yeah. Preston's bucks from yeah. this year over. I meant to text you. I didn't bring it down. And that, that top one he shot right up there, too. That's a hammer. That hill. <laughs> Look at that old Trail 90. It's 
we got one more shot. Um, we've been hiking pretty much all day here in Wisconsin, and we just haven't been able to put it together. Les found the one, uh, Travis found one, but I can't find one to save my life. So we really have like an hour till dark. We're gonna throw it all up in the air and go try a piece of public over here and see if we can't luck onto one. So this is kind of a last ditch effort uh, to get it done here in Wisconsin. I believe in ourselves though. Oh my gosh. I saw those tines from so far away and I'm like, there's no way. Ah. Oh my heck, you guys. We Look how dark it is out here. <laughs> we were like, we got, I sprinted across the whole field because Les found that shed and it, he's like, we gotta go walk this tree line. And man, I ran across the whole field, cut in here. And there it is, I cannot believe it. This other half. Oh, it might be. Oh yeah. Ah, nope. Color's pretty different. Oh my heck, Wisconsin, we freaking did it. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I cannot believe Heck that. Yes. Jeez. It is uh, 8.09, and we're like, we have to go try this little spot. So, we, 12 hours, man. We hiked for 12 hours. We headed for home, but before I took off the next day, we had to stop in for a local delicacy, fried cheese curds. Um, all right, so we got some real Wisconsin cheese curds. These are not quick trip gas station ones. These are the real ones. <laughs> Fried cheese, I mean, how can you go wrong? You gotta get a little ranch. They're hotter than lava. Oh no. Oh, I'm a whole different ball game. They're not like even the ones I had last night tasted bread. Look at this. Yeah, this is right up my alley. I'm gonna give this like a 9.7. Cheese curds, baby. Fried cheese curd. You can't be up. All right, so I need to thank some people who bought apparel. I need to thank Jaden Haskins and Lindsey Nash. Those are the two orders that have come in since the last video went live. Uh, I know it was just live today, though, so I'm sure more will come in later this week. But thank you guys for buying apparel and supporting what I'm doing. Now I'm going to get on an airplane here, uh, not tomorrow morning, but the following morning. Fly back to the van, keep going on the road trip. So thanks for watching, guys.